The Patriots in Buffalo, where it was so windy. How windy was it? This windy. Yo. Oh, lean, lean with it, rock with it. Matt Castle starting in the wind, needing to win this game and then get some help. The Buffalo Bills went against the wind the entire first quarter, didn't throw it once. First play with the wind in their backs, throwing it. There you go. Trent Edwards to lead. For fakes and anything like that. Kick is on its way. Look at that win. Win. Bill Belichick going for it on fourth and five this far away. Why not? Matt Castle. Going to pick it up himself. This is what Tom Brady can't give you. Although Tom is great at sometimes you don't have to, but Matt Castle can run. 13th play of the drive. Steven Kostowski in for his 26-yard attempt. So they have to, I'm not kidding you, straighten out the goal posts there first. Looks like they have that job. And they should have left the goal posts the way it was because it was wide right. Yo, that looked good. They had good intentions. That looked good. Oh, my goodness. 22 seconds left in the half. Buffalo set up for a game-tying field goal, but they're out of timeouts, and they run Fred Jackson. That's Duke Preston, the center, getting involved in Get some sort of back and line up. Get lined up. Now, Fred Jackson's running off with the ball, but the head of the ball was set into play. If only this scrum would break up, and Duke Preston was right in the middle of it, and the refs weren't going to blow a whistle. And the clock runs out. To give Buffalo a chance to set up, so Gene Steratore says, we're out of here. You never let your emotions get the best of you. So they can't tie the game with the wind at their backs in the third quarter. Something else was at Trent Edwards' back. His name was Jarvis Green. Fumble. Mike Vrabel covers fourth and two at the wind at their face. They go for it instead of kicking a field goal, and Castle picks it up again with his feet. Ten plays later, it's fourth down again, fourth and five. They do throw it into the wind, and... How is Wes Walker that play? He only had over 100 receptions this year. You don't want to cover him. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. And then the very next play, Lamont Jordan. Yeah. Touch. Patriots love the Jets. You bet they do, at least today. A Patriot win here and a Jet win would give New England the NFC East title. Coming up next. Going to a passing formation, declaring that you're going to throw the ball, and then indeed you do, and, and you're not able to convert a fourth and very short. Like second and nine on Jordan left side. Stacked up just across the 40 yard line. And Jerron, we asked him straight up about the call at the end of the game in New York which resulted in a quarterback Gain fumble, a and he said it was his call, his decision, and <laughs> he said, and if he had to do it over again, he'd do it differently. Well, you know. Because of the result. My opinion is that no matter who made that call, Dick Duran would say, it was my call. Uh, Marcus Stroud telling us that, that one of the things that players appreciate is that Dick Duran never throws anyone under the bus, player or coach. And there's a quick kick. Castle. You gotta love Belichick. And he gets Dick the Gus roll down to the 10. Oh, and the wind continues. Oh, it'll go to, to the one. The to the five. It'll go all the way down. Matt Castle, the best punter in the league today. 57 yard punt Bill by Belichick. number 16. You little devil. Inside has not been the best protected spot all day long. No, it hasn't. He's been under some duress. The Bills have really, they so desperately wanted to end this winning streak of the Patriots, which looks like it's working its way towards 11 in a row. And that one should take us to the two-minute warning. I doubt from Football League. I don't see Bill Belichick's name on it, and this might be the best job of coaching he's ever done. Well, we talked about it a, a little while ago, that back at the end of the 2002 season, week 17, the Pats needed Brett Favre and the Green Bay Packers to beat Chad Je Pennington and the New York Jets to make the postseason, but Pennington came out the winner. He threw for 196 yards and four touchdowns, while Favre was intercepted by Sam Garns in the third quarter to set up Wayne Corbett's second touchdown of the game, and the Jets won this one by a score of 42 to 17. Uh, uh, how are Jim and Phil possibly going to cover all the storylines in this game this afternoon. And, and Chad Pennington coming back from New York after he was jettisoned by the Jets and, you know, just unceremoniously shown the door and handed his hat. And what he did for the Dolphins, the turnaround of the Dolphins. Look at Fred Jackson on the punt return. He has been incredible today. Fred Jackson with the punt return. 